What's up, YouTube? It has been a long time. I have not posted a video in maybe months. I filmed a bunch of stuff, thought about putting it out. I have some videos in the can, and I was like, nah, I don't think so. I'm just like, I'm just really not into the videos that I'm making. Like, show and tell is, it's gotten kind of old for me what's that birdie okay thank you for don't don't do that birdie don't put that there she put the lens cap on you know i started youtube okay birdie please all right so i started youtube and i was like okay i'm gonna do like a kind of day in the life what it's like you know to be a lawyer what it's like to be eddie kim it's like oh my god how boring is that nobody gives a shit about that um including myself i started like okay well let's let me highlight some really cool people let me highlight some people that i think are really cool like self-starters entrepreneurs kind of like interview them you know kind of check out how they made it and i actually really enjoy doing that but the, you know, the requirement and obligation of time, I just, I didn't have it. Like, I'm already busy. I'm a recreational YouTuber. Like, if this is my job, I think, you know, leaning into that idea is probably much cooler. But just feasibly, it, it wasn't possible. And then I just started doing kind of like, you know, just mundane everyday type stuff like what it's like to to be me and like hang out with my family and again like how interesting can that be i'm a lawyer i'm like 40 something years old i was like in my late 30s when i started i got two kids um mary like who fucking cares like maybe if like my wife and i were like always fighting or something on camera or like if I cheated on her, or if she cheated on me, like we were like total crazy people, you know, like lots of drama, lots of juice, then yeah, I think it would be more interesting content, but that clearly wasn't doing it. And while I was just like, I've never actually like sat down and like mapped it out. Maybe that's actually the problem that I'm having with my YouTube content. But I just started like, you know, filming like stuff that I buy because I'm a shopaholic. I was like, yeah, I'll just share the stuff that I buy. And I was like really in the fear of God at the time. So I just started just unboxing fear of God stuff. And I found like, okay, I got a, I have a voice here. This is something that I'm actually really into. And it was kind of, it was working for me for a while, but it just got a little bit boring. And my content relied on another company making stuff for me to be able to make content. So if fear of God doesn't drop anything, then I don't really have anything to make. Or at least that's how I felt. And then every time they dropped something, I almost felt obligated to buy something just so I could have content to make. And then that got crazy because honestly, you know, towards the end, I just wasn't really feeling essential stuff that much, but I would just buy stuff just for the heck of it. Um, I did really like Fear of God Eternal Collection. But I'm looking at 8th Collection right now, and I'm just like, man, I don't know if, like, suede fringe pants is really what I want to be rocking, you know, this year. And even with Eternal Collection, yeah, it's super dope, but is it really my style? Not really. I feel like I'm moving, you know, away from that, going more of the, like the earlier Fear of God stuff, the more like 90s vintage stuff. I've been digging like uh, a military aesthetic, which I think Fear of God used to do really well, but you know, now it's just like really kind of snooty Banana Republic. You know, I hate to say it because I'm a major Jerry fanboy, but it is what it is. Maybe he'll prove me wrong when the 8th collection comes out. You know, we'll see. But these days I'm wearing a lot of St. Michael. I'm wearing um, online ceramics. Like I love this cardigan right now. I think it's Todd Snyder, John Elliott. Just kind of wearing all kinds of the row and just kind of, you know, not really just sticking to, you know, Yeezy, Fear of God, Balenciaga, and just kind of expanding the palette. And I don't know. I don't know if I want to just do like unboxings every time I pick something up. Like it seems stupid. So 
as I say that, I'm about to do an unboxing, and this is probably going to be my last, like, unboxing video. I'm going to say probably because I would hate to, like, say that. I'm never going to do it again, and I do it because you never know. What if I buy something really dope and I want to make a video? But I am telling you that don't expect, like, this, as this to become, like, an unboxing series. I have no idea what's going to happen to it. I don't know if I'm going to even continue doing YouTube anymore. I love it. It's fun. I'm consider myself to be a creative person and so as a professional as an attorney I don't get the opportunity to use my creativity so this is kind of how I dabble in it and you know just get the creative juices flowing but my business these days has become incredibly busy we've grown so much and it requires a lot of my time and I don't know how much time away from work I have to make YouTube videos because if I'm not at work I'm with my family as you guys probably already can tell from the from the videos and then from there like what's interesting about that like is it gonna be fun like I've already tried to like you know highlight my life and show something interesting when I watch it back to me to me I love it because they're just like home videos and I know my kids will love them but am I making stuff like that, you know, the rest of the world is going to enjoy. I don't know. Probably, I mean, you could look at my views and the number of subs that I have. Not really. Um, not to be down on myself. For everyone who's been with me on this journey, it's been fucking awesome. I really appreciate the support. And, you know, what I like to tell you for the day ones, like, don't give up. Because I'm not saying I'm not going to make YouTube videos. It's just when I come back and I really start posting consistently, I hope that I've sat down and, like, really fleshed out a good idea to make good shit that people can enjoy watching but i just can't promise when that's going to happen because i've been busy at work now that off my chest happy new year you guys i wish you guys a very blessed prosperous most importantly a very healthy 2024 let's get to this video all right, we'll start with what the first thing I got, which was the hoodie. I do love hoodies. It's kind of my uniform to life. My dream is to have like a hoodie wall where I can hang up all my hoodies, but I got way too many hoodies for that. I've been kind of moving away from that though. My go-to uni in life now is like, I've been wearing a lot of like collared button down, like military style shirts. Okay, so this is a hoodie. Um, obviously you've got the three stripes. I don't know, some kind of rubber. I don't know what it is, but you can see he's kind of got his own style to it. They're like rounded out here. Um, it's very heavyweight. Quality feels great. Uh, but the first thing I noticed was the neckline. So Fear of God has moved away from the kind of traditional hoodie or like the hoodies they used to make. And they're going for like this sci-fi neckline, which I think Yeezy made famous and Yeezy did best. I'm not a fan of the way uh, fear of God has done it thus far. I do love this. Man, Jerry knows how to mix fonts together and put the logos together. That looks really beautiful. And the colorway is really nice. You've got like this taupe on the black. This is also all rubber, just like the DDS logo here in the front. Feels good. What size did I buy? I bought a large. What do you call this? The wrist, the sleeve, it's kind of got like this athletic quality to it where it cinches. I prefer a cuff. I thought I wasn't going to be a fan of the neckline because I thought it was going to kind of feel like the essential stuff, which I really don't like. But on the Adidas, it kind of gives you like this funnel neck vibe and I don't mind it. I, I actually like it a lot. It's very athletic. Like I feel like, oh, this is like what I should be wearing when I'm about to go play ball with my my friends and this is like my pre-warm-up gear that's kind of what it feels like can you wear it as like just style obviously it looks great i'm old also guys so you remember if you're young and you're watching this i could just be like that back in my day we used to dress like this and dress like that you know it might be that kind of vibe or i just might be salty at how fear of god has handled my order you know a lot of bias is going on here so i'm only human Fear of God, Adidas duffel bag. A lot like the other Fear of God bags, 
it's not adjustable in any way, which I think is kind of silly. They should, dear God, you guys should be able to adjust these straps here, especially for how much we pay for this. It's all suede, very nice. It's got that same rubber lettering that the hoodie does. Cool zippers that are black. <laughs> all right, you go inside and you've got like a one kind of sleeve pocket with a button on it. I don't know if you can see that. Boom. There's a concealed pocket. You open with a zipper. Aesthetically pleasing, great colorway. I would say uh, extremely impractical. Can't adjust the strap, it's one way, that's it. I mean, do you need the bag to go any other way? It's also like white, so it's gonna get very dirty. There's no studs on the bottom, like usually, uh, you know, more high-end duffel bags will have these like metal studs so that when you place it, it's like, place it on the ground, it's like supporting it up and the bottom doesn't get all messy. But this is a suede, it's gonna get extremely dirty. Especially, it's Adidas, right? So it's meant for sports and you're taking it out for sports, this thing is gonna get filthy real quick. But I've had this like change in philosophy and how I use stuff. I used to like really be concerned about being super immaculate and clean. Like if I wear white shoes, I come home, there's some dirt on it, like I'll wipe it off, do all that crap. And now I'm just like, hey, I think the more, the more worn it looks, the more used it looks, the more character it has, um, you're actually getting use out of it. And it truly becomes yours and one of one. So if you got stuff, obviously don't go around fucking it up and messing it up on purpose or intentionally, unless you want to. Um, but don't be afraid to use your things. And you know, if a baby throws up on it, baby gets a nosebleed on it, you know, I kind of think of it's kind of like a very gallery department style. Like it just becomes your own unique piece that only you have. Fear of God shoes, always been a mystery to me. I wear a size 43. If I order 43 in Fear of God, it won't fit. So I need a 42 like the California. It's got to be a 42. But then some shoes, if I get a 42, it's too small. Like the Chucks, they need to be like... The Essentials Chucks have to be like the true to size. So I'm curious to know what type of sizing that Adidas Fear of God chose to go with. Like even Yeezy shoes, I think like size 10 is very snug for me. They have it on the box too. Let you know how cheap that is if they're willing to just throw that on the box. It probably doesn't cost them anything to keep pressing them on it there. All right, I, I really was way more excited for the, the 86 lows because that's like an Adidas silhouette and they put those Fear of God soles on there. Uh, but these are cool too. Now I have two of them, but Am I, is it just me, or does this really remind you of the Fear of God sneakers? These are Fear of God. Look at the soles, like that jagged sole that they have here. All right, here's this one. Do they look similar? Man, that's pretty damn close. I mean, the color and everything, it's almost identical. And you know what's really pissing me off is that I got two of these. I want to know if that's their mistake or my mistake. Maybe I got a free pair of shoes. So before I even try these on, let's see. Did I, did I somehow fuck this up? Yeah, I fucked it up. It, it, it says they're right there, times two. So I, I bought two of these shoes. I must have put it in my bag. And that's another thing about Fear of God's website. Sometimes you put it in your cart, then you go back to the cart and it's not there anymore. So you add it again. And then obviously voila, now I have two pairs of the, actually three pairs of the sh same shoe. But they look cool. If you don't own these, you should own these. If you own these, you probably don't need these. Although there is one difference that I think is gonna matter. This shoe, is not that comfortable. I shy away from usually wearing it. Oh, hey, extra shoelaces, cream. April, what kind of video should I make? I think you should tell a story. You're tell a story. So what kind of video should I make? Huh, probably you should make, play, uh, I guess, huh, probably I wonder what idea should I do? I forgot the ideas that I should do. What kind of videos do you like to watch? No, 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 no. No. 
Oh, ASMR. Hey, still say bye to the vlogs. Bye bye, everybody.